Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tactics. I just picked up a new SanDisk micro SD card, 128 gigs, very mundane. Like, of course, it's a lot of storage, but very mundane. And guys, I got this for under $30 shipped. I got 128 gigabytes shipped to me for under 30 bucks Canadian rupees. That's, uh, that's uh, what, like 20 American, something like that. I just can't believe it. Here is one of my old hard drives. I, this was part of a project I called Alexandria. I became a data hoarder. I'm a data hoarder. I'm a data hoarder. And as a data hoarder, this freaking blows me away. My goodness, 30 bucks shipped, 128 gigabytes. Whoa, whoa. I just, I, I, I know, I know, easy today, right? Easy today, but I just can't get over that, man. When I had my first computer, when I had the first computer I ever had, I had under a gigabyte, and I couldn't download pictures. I tried to download some background. Oh, that's interesting. They put it on the front. Anyways, I tried some background, uh, downloading some backgrounds, but I couldn't. If I did, Windows wouldn't work anymore. This packaging is like criminal. An older phone, LG G7, LG G6 over here, and I'm gonna test the, the same one on a different phone. Now to do this test, I'm going to be using A1 SD Benchmark. Uh, it's the pro version, and it's the best. Let's give this sucker a shot. Benchmark. All right. So first up, let's talk about the speed. Once again, this is supposed to be super high speed. Have you ever, have you guys ever had a hard time? You're trying to take a shot, and you're like, I got that uh, instant shot. If I can get this shot at this perfect time. Blam, we'll have a great picture. But then you use a digital camera, you press it, and it takes like a second and a half to take that picture, to get that picture, and you lose the shot. Sometimes it's because you're using older, slower uh, memory. So V3, U3, U3, that's a good sign. Like when you get used, uh, one, two, three, four, I think four is out now. The higher that number is, the better. Now here's an excellent chart to show you exactly what you get with your speed. Back in the day, we only had these numbers with circles around them. And over here, we have minimal sequential write speed. So this is the speed you're going to be getting at minimal. This unit that we're reviewing is a U3 V30. So that puts us right here. And we're guaranteed at least 30 megabytes a second. And I'm confident that we're going to be able to beat that. And here you can see corresponding video formats. Um, it's recommended for 4K, not really 8K so much. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at those test results. Okay, so here's the lineup. Newest to oldest. This card got a reading of 86.95. And then over here, we got 82.51, so not a big difference. I'm wondering if the difference has anything to do with this card being a little bit older. Once again, these two uh, systems both carry the exact same memory card. I've been using it in this one longer. I just bought it and purchased it and put it into this one. Anyways, internal memory, interestingly enough, is always faster than the SD card memory. The internal memory on the LG G7 uh, and 8 is both about the same at 30 or 326.75 they're both exactly the same that's interesting they must use both the same type of memory and over here we got the original galaxy standard we only get uh oh 244 over here the lg g3 we get wait how many sd cards do i got in there anyways i'm getting uh, about 31 megabytes per second that's megabytes not megabits and the internal, let's just go over the internal memory. Now, once again, with these kinds of memory cards, you can only write to them so many times, and then after you write to them, uh, they just die. So if you got ones in high use, you should know they're going to die. But at the same time, old hard drives will do the same thing. But at the same time, hard drives seem to last longer. They're just much slower. Now I want to come back to this Mac store system that I have, 200 gigabytes. I got balked at. People, people at work were like, huh. You'll never use that. You'll, uh, that's so little. No one will ever need 200 gigabytes, and you're unreasonable for getting something that size. That was probably about 18 years ago, and now I can get 128 gigabytes for 30 bucks shipped to me, and it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. So, it's just interesting how life goes, but I guess that's, uh, just how she goes, right? Internal memory read at uh, 
3 that's just under the Google Pixel, and that's the LG G3. I would have thought the Pixel would have been a lot faster than that with internal memory. Huh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Once again, I'm Nev from Nest Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other.